The progress indicator can be every time used if you need to show some progress, for example, if you download some data. And we want to build here something where you can download a file from the web and then the progress indicator shows you the exact percentage of this download. And we will also look at some other example here at the top so you can also have some color and it's changing all the time and that's also what we want to look at. Let's get started by creating a circular progress indicator and here inside you can set a value property which is a value from 0 to 1 and this value is how much percentage is shown in our value. Currently we have 50% and you can also set here inside a background color to see also the other half and therefore I set it right now to the color of gray. And basically what you can do is to change here these values and then you see that our indicator is every time changing its value. To increase the size of this indicator you can do first of all the stroke width and here if you put a higher value inside you see that we have a higher width of our circular progress indicator and you also can put here a higher value even inside and then we have here more width of our progress indicator. And to make this progress indicator bigger, you can simply wrap this inside of a size box. And here you can supply a width and a height. And now if I set it, for example, to 200 pixels by 200 pixels, it looks like this. And now comes the interesting part to animate this circular progress indicator. And this is pretty simple. So we simply exchange here the 50% by a new value. And then we wrap here a new widget around the tree animation builder. And inside of this builder, we get here this value. And what we now do is to define this value. So we define here a tree. And inside of it, we can set, okay, we want to start here at zero. And we want to end here at 1.0. So it's 100%. And then we tell here how long this animation should last. So for example, four seconds. And now if I hot restart, you see that we have here this loading indicator and it takes exactly four seconds. So this is here about simulating a loading indicator. However, now we want to download some real files and want to build here this example. Therefore, I will comment this example here right now out. However, you can get my source code and this example here with the first link in the description. And with the second link in the description, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more advanced Flutter developer. Let's get started with this download by creating first of all this download button and also the functionality behind the download. So basically we create here a floating action button and here inside you can set an icon for download. So we put this icon inside and also a text of download. And now if we press on this button, then we want to actually start the download. So I create here a new method and then it looks like this. So we have this button and now we want to add the functionality that we download a file from the web. And this file which we download, we want to put into our file system. And therefore I create here this method and here inside we actually get the directory where we store our data and then we return here a new file where we simply put our new file inside which we download. And now we want to start actually the download. So I have here a URL where our mp4 file is inside and this is what we want to download. So I create here a new request. And by the way, we make use of two plugins. So we make use of this HTTP plugin to actually download the file. And to save the file, we use the pass provider. And with this one, you can simply store it on your phone. And here back in our main file, you see we have already created this request and have put here the URL of this image inside. And now we get a response back of this request. And we simply call here the client, which is also from HTTP. And here we simply call send request. And this will return here a streamed response because we want to also have the access to the progress of this download and therefore we use this method. And then we get here from this response the file size which we are downloading and this is needed to actually later calculate the progress. Now we create here first of all a file and here we want to store our file which we are downloading and then you also create a list of the bytes which are downloaded and now we want to actually call the download and therefore we have here the, our response and call here the stream and we listen to it so that we can listen to the progress of this download. 
And here we get every time the new bytes of this download. And what we do is we add them to our list of our bytes. And we every time put here the new bytes inside which we get. So we get them all in chunks. And after it, we also want to update our progress indicator. So I have here a field at the top with our progress. And this is the value from zero to one. And now we simply go here inside and call progress. And here inside we determine our currently downloaded length. So here we have all the bytes stored which are currently downloaded. And the content length is the length of the file which we want to download. And now we can also implement the on done callback. So if the download is finished, then we simply want to set the progress to one. So in case something went wrong, we want to put it here to one. So we indicate that this is finished. And then we want to call here this write as bytes. So we put our bytes, which are currently in our local storage, and we want to write them simply to our file. And after it, you can also put here some arrow inside. So you catch here the arrow and also you can print the error if some error occurs. And the most important thing is that this progress gets here updated every time. And now we simply can show this progress in our circle progress indicator. Let's start this progress indicator and put our progress inside. So first of all, we create again the circular progress indicator. And this time we put here the progress, which we have determined here at the top inside of our value. So we put it here exactly inside. And after it, we can also define the color of our progress indicator. So we want to have it as the color of green. And therefore you always use here this always stopped animation and put here your color inside. And after it, we also define here the stroke width. And then you also need to define here the background color. So it looks in the beginning like this. And we can also define here the size of this progress indicator. So we simply wrap this with a size box inside and also set the width and height property. And now we have here a much bigger progress indicator and this progress indicator will already work. So if we download this file, you see that the progress is showing and everything works here pretty good. However, we want to improve this design a bit. So what we want to do is we want to show here the number of our progress and we also want in the end to show that it is finished. To show here actually the number inside of our progress indicator, we simply wrap this inside of a stack. And after it, we have here a text which we want to display. So I created this text in a new method and we center it here inside of our progress indicator. Inside of this build progress, we first of all want to build the last case. So if everything is downloaded and it's the case if we have the progress at one, so this is 100%. And if that's the case, we simply want to return here an icon and we put here this icon done inside and a color of green. And otherwise, if we are not done, we want to show here every time the current value of our progress. And therefore I return here text and inside we determine here the progress. And because it is a value between zero and one, we multiply this value by hundred then we also want to put here the string to one comma maximum. So I put here this to one comma maximum. You can then also put your textile inside. So I make it bold and bigger. And after your hot restart, you see here this number inside. And this is exactly this text object here. And what we have here inside is our progress, which we have determined. And now if I click here on this button, this progress will every time be updated and then this text also gets updated. And in the end, we have then this done here and then everything is downloaded. Now we want to look at another example of the progress indicator. So you can also have a linear progress indicator. And we also want to look at some other example where you can set here some colors inside. To create this linear progress indicator, we simply call here this widget and inside we put again our value and here our progress inside. So this is again the field which we have here at the top, which we have determined over our download. And then you can simply put here a value color inside. So this is our progress color and right now it is downloaded and therefore it everything is green here. 
and you can also set here the background color and we set it to white. To change the size of this linear progress indicator, you simply wrap this again inside of a size box. And here you can set first of all the width. And if you do this, you see that we have here only 200 pixels and you can also set here the height and then we have here more height for our progress indicator. Like also in the circular progress indicator, we want also to put here our number inside of our percentage, which we have downloaded so far. And therefore we wrap this linear progress indicator inside of a stack. And here we do the same thing as before. We create here a center object. So we center our text here inside of the middle and we create again a new method. And inside of this method, we simply create a text object and determine here again the progress. And this is exactly the same method as we have used before, like we determined it here before for our normal progress indicator here at the top. And then we again put here some text style inside. And now if I hot reload, you see already here this number inside and I can also hot restart the progress. And then you see if I click here on download, this will also change its progress. Let's build right now this animation here. So we change the color to different colors and this over time. And then it looks like this. And to build this, we first of all go here to the top and create another circular progress indicator. And here inside we set a background color for this indicator and a stroke width. And this looks then like this. And you see, if you don't supply here any value, then this is simply turning here all the time around. And this can be used if you don't know what the file size is or what the current state of the download is. So you simply show this indicator until the download is finished. And now what we can do is to use here this value color and put here actually an animation inside. So we want to animate this color here inside. And therefore we go here to the top and create first of all an animation controller to drive later this animation. And then we also set here the animation color to change here the color of our indicator. Let's go further and create also the init state method where we first of all create the animation controller. And here inside you should define the duration of this animation and we set it here to three seconds. And we also need to make sure that we put here the we sync this inside. So make sure that you put here this single ticker provider state mixin also inside. After it, we create here our animation. So we go here over our controller and call here the drive method. And here inside you can define the colors the, of this animation. So we begin with the color of yellow and we end with the color of red. And yeah, basically you can change these colors and this will then change later the colors of your animation. After it, we call here the controller repeat and this will then repeat the animation over and over again. To clean everything up, we also call here the dispose and put here our controller dispose and this is only for the cleanup. And now if you hot restart this application, you see that the color is always changing and we start here with the yellow color and then it's turning slowly to red. And if you want to have this faster, then you can also change the duration. So for example, you set it to one second and then you hot restart and then you see that this animation is much more faster. Let's also quickly add here the linear progress indicator, which is doing exactly the same thing. So we put here a linear progress indicator inside and put here the value color of to our animation, like we have done it here before in our circular progress indicator. And then we put here background color of white inside and it will look like this. So it changes here also the color. And we also want to quickly put here a higher size inside. So I increase the width and also the height. And then everything looks like this and we are done with this example. So we have here one progress indicator which is loading all the time and the other one is only loading and showing here the real progress of our download. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye.